here with Lubo from Choke Bloke. And this is Shintaro versus Travis Stevens. And Travis Stevens, black belt in jiu-jitsu, and he was an Olympic judo guy. Yeah, he's black belt in judo. I don't know what down it is, but mm -hmm. he's really, really good. Wow. Now, Shintaro is a red, white belt, um, sixth degree, I believe, wow. in judo. Uh, he mentions that either in this or previous videos somewhere. Mm -hmm. So now right here, you can see the 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 battle between two judokas yeah. they're 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 going e relatively easy this is not what olympics looks like yeah they're they're going easy but watch this balance now wow. now this is an olympian medalist i don't i, I think he's a gold medalist i may be wrong mm -hmm. so i'm just gonna call him medalist but mm -hmm. that's enough i mean olympic olympic judoka is a big thing yeah he's an olympian and you could not bring him uh, uh bring him down wow this yeah. guy is good yeah shows Shows Shintaro's Shintaro level is really two. good. Now he tried that that same thing, but he could not do it on Travis either. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the whole the whole the name of the game is grips. Mm -hmm. As you can see, they're both trying to break break those grips. Especially Travis Stevens, he doesn't want any grips on him. Mm -hmm. Look at this. He's breaking those grips. He's trying to get his own grips. Now he's trying to get the belt. Ooh! Right. Shintaro took advantage wow. of that. You can go back a second. Yeah. Dude, this that was, definitely deserves a replay. This was really good. If you can put it in a slower yeah. mo, slow mo, yeah. So right here, he tries to do that, but he overcommits forward. Shintaro takes the grip and drives him. Oh, look at that. And then uh, the, the littlest trip will do the work, I guess. Wow. So right here, they're, uh, I think they're just going to stand back up. But uh, but it was a great move. You watch it again. Yeah, in 25% speed. Travis started grabbing that the belt. belt. Yeah. Ah. Shintaro wasn't up to it and tried the trip here, but it didn't work. Mm -hmm. But it did off balance. It did the work for the Kazushi for the off balance. And now they're Travis is trying the same thing. He's, gonna, he's basically trying to throw him over, but, mm. uh, but I guess he, he lost his balance. So wow. that was a good, good sequence. The intricacy and how much um, spontaneous change you have to do in judo. Correct. Wow. And again, they're not going hard. That's, it looks like, they, oh, it's a lot of like grip breaking and stuff like this. They're sweating. Of course, they're sweating. Mm -hmm. They're not going hard. This is mm -hmm. not what he's still trying for that belt. Uh -huh. um, th there is a lot of uh, like, it's very technical what yeah. they're doing rather than, although it looks like tugging and, and, and you know, pulling and stuff like this, but. Oh. Whoa! So got some, now, now look at this. Go back just one second. Yes. This, this was a really good. Uh, I think it was an arm throw, uh, whatever it's called in judo. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna claim or pretend that I know what it's called. Mm -hmm. I, I, um, I don't know the name mm -hmm. of the throw, but this is where. So they both got grips, mm -hmm. and he takes advantage. Look, look at the uh, right hand goes under. Yes. And his center of gravity is below. Shintaro center of gravity. Now, after the throw, watch that roll yes. over. Yes, yes. So this is something that trained judokas do. Mm -hmm. If I hit a throw like that on somebody, I'm probably going to land my chest on or my back on their chest and uh. crack, crack their ribs if I ever land that throw on someone. But these guys know what they're doing. Imagine this heavier guy lands on you. Mm -hmm. So this is safe training right there. Mm. Look at that roll. If yeah. you watch the same kind of throw in, in a competition, Travis would be landing on top of him and causing some serious pain and damage probably. Wow. So this is that rollover mm -hmm. was a safety net essentially for, for the person on the bottom. I see. Makes and sense. And this is something they train uh, to perfection. Makes sense. Um, oh. Uh. He attempted that <laughs> lapel kind of throw. I don't know. Um, mm -hmm. There's a lot of uh, grip fighting. Travis mm -hmm. doesn't like those grips at all, but yeah. he likes his own grips, which is normal. Yeah. It's interesting that Standard you see a lot of grip fighting and a lot of stiff arming too yeah. to kind of break the other guy's yeah. grip. Yeah, so, so when you stiff somebody, when you stiff arm someone, you're you're really giving them your, your arm too. Mm -hmm. So you mm -hmm. got to be watchful for that as well. Yeah. Um, they're placing, they're the placement of their arms over, under, uh, above and underneath the other person's arm is very important. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. um, here they're gonna go <coughs> again, and uh, this is uh, you see how they they they're reaching for one another mm. the, for the grips. Yeah. Now Shintaro is wearing a, a jujitsu gi. By the way, they mentioned that in the very beginning. Uh, if you notice, uh, uh, if you notice Travis Stevens's uh, 
sleeves are very, very wide compared, like big, yeah, compared yeah. to Shintaro's sleeves. Uh, Jiu-Jitsu geese are not as grippable, mm. if I can say that, as, as Judo. That makes sense. So, you see that grip on, on, on his sleeve? Yeah. That's going to be near impossible for Travis Stevens to obtain on Shintaro because oh. of the, the style of the gi itself. Makes sense. That makes yeah. sense. And that's why Travis is grabbing, grabbing the lapel more, the belt more. Yeah, he's also, yeah, he's also uh, taller. Uh, he's, he's going for the belt, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, he's also taller now. Here, that's that he attempted a head and arm throw. Mm -hmm. in That's what it's called in wrestling. Again, I'm not sure what the name of it in judo is. Mm -hmm. And he did not... Uh, follow up on it mm. and Shintaro took his back if you go back wow. a second yeah this is a this is a dangerous throw to attempt but when you hit it you hit it uh by the way Ronda Rousey did that in the UFC yes, she, that's she, right. she made a career out of it yeah uh so he goes uh, let me just double check and make sure that it is yeah so he goes with the right arm over the head ah, you see this there, it is, there yeah. it is but he missed it he missed it and then she missed it and Shintaro back. knew what's coming so uh -huh. he sagged his weight back a little bit I suppose mm -hmm. and uh and then took the back from there. Wow. Um, only goes to show how good Ronda was yeah. uh, in that specific throw because she did it without the gi, yeah. with a lot of sweat and slipperiness. That's right. Slipperiness, is that even a word? Yeah. All right, so, yeah. Oh, I wish that I wish that um back take would have gone into jujitsu territory. That yeah, they don't fun. they don't do that. They're, they're, they're concentrating on the judo side of it, but it's uh -huh. also interesting to see the, the actual, you know, the fight between the two of them in terms of, um yeah he's definitely going more for the lapels now he did that you see this Ooh. that same kind of um butterfly sumigoshi sacrifice whatever you want to call it throw mm -hmm. problem is that he was i think that he's a little too disconnected you see their oh, bodies are very yes, disconnected yes, yes. So, exactly so shintaro kind of even though he lost his balance he did not fall on his back yeah Right. Yeah, so there wasn't Travis as much needs, connection. Yes, correct. Yeah. So Travis needs to be... So his butt hit the floor without his legs being in the proper place. Yeah. Um, now, I'm sure that this has more to do with Shintaro's defensive technique than than um, inability on part of Travis Steele. Yeah. So I'm not implying that Travis doesn't know how to do that. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we're talking about Olympian here. Yeah, yeah. But Shintaro is a, uh, is a high level. Yeah. So this is... Man, um, quite interesting. Oh, yes, quite. Yeah. I got to I got to tell you after one of those um friendly sparring rounds your fingers are going to be on fire. Totally. You're going to feel like you you notice the the um, uh fingers of uh um Travis Stevens are all taped up. Yep. That's why. Yeah. yeah. Now they took off the 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 um, the jackets. Yeah. I want you to pay attention to what's going to happen mm -hmm. in the next few sequences. So Shintaro shot for a double. Mm -hmm. uh, it, was a, it was not a good shot. Mm -hmm. And he got sprawled on. And now I know there is a weight difference between them. Mm -hmm. But the technique is technique. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Travis like, oh, go on. But um, pay attention to uh, the whole game without the jackets. Uh, it's uh, much more going for the legs. It looks like. Uh, well, yeah. In mm -hmm. uh, well, first of all, in judo, under rules, they're they're not allowed to go for uh, legs. Uh, uh, they're doing wrestling right now. Uh, yeah. So they're 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 going with with their judo techniques or whatever they have, but also wrestling. Mm -hmm. So this is more of a wrestling type of thing. I see. Now watch that. This is what I was telling you off the uh, of the camera about that uh, reverse kind of kimura grip mm -hmm. that he attempted on him. He just couldn't solidify it. Mm -hmm. So you notice how those th takedowns that Shintaro was doing, hitting in the first segment, were a lot coming much easier, I should say. And Travis is literally giving him something here. Yeah, because look at that. He, he's, his wrestling is... Look at that. Look yeah. at that bounce. Wow. His wrestling is much better than, apparently, than Shintaro's. I'm saying that from watching this. Yeah. I haven't seen them wrestle otherwise. Yeah. But uh, you can tell. Now they're doing. They're doing some yeah. some grappling, and yeah. Shintaro is uh, grabbing the pants, mm -hmm. and Travis is um, kind of being unhappy about it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Shintaro says, "I mean, they're there. I mean, it's 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 a habit." Yeah. So he went right straight up for the takedown. Shintaro seems tired here. Yeah. And. Um, <laughs> I like Travis. Like. <laughs> Travis is uh, Travis is a monster. Yeah. 
um, the funny part is if you're not used to a certain um, you could be a great judoka apparently and I'm, I'm saying that again from watching this video uh -huh. you could be a great judoka and and have a great game in the in, with the, in the gi with the jacket with the kimono mm -hmm. and when you take it off and it comes to underhooks overhooks and um, you know color ties and stuff like this when you take the, the grips out of the game you you could look like a different fighter yeah again yeah. Again, I'm only saying that from watching this video. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I don't know Shintaro's wrestling. Mm -hmm. I don't know Travis Stevenson, or Stevenson's wrestling for that matter. I like him just being like, yeah, I can he, hook you. He goes, that's, yeah, he goes for like a straight ankle lock yeah. or something like that. Yeah. But uh, I think Shintaro's out of it at yeah. this point. He's like, yeah, do whatever you want. Yeah. Especially if um, Travis is the bigger one in this too. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Shintaro the, must be really tired. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and all these shots to the legs take a toll on you. Uh, and uh, Shintaro didn't have any success with them so even here he goes for the single leg but look how he tries to lift him up ah. instead of instead of driving it so this is this is good he's, he's doing almost the, the, the he almost finished the job there mm -hmm. Travis's Travis's defense in this case was better than uh, Shintaro's offense mm -hmm. that's what happened yeah right here he's trying to sag him on top and take the back maybe mm -hmm. he just broke the grips off so a point is um, the the judo with the with that we know with the uh, jacket is so different from yeah. the wrestling, even when you execute the same type of techniques. Yeah. So yeah. you really have to have to uh, adapt to both of them. Yeah. And that applies to jujitsu as well. Um, there there are guys that are incredibly good in in the gi, mm -hmm. and they will kill you with the grips and with they will literally immobilize the crap out of you just not going to be able to move yeah uh, you're, you're going to feel like you're in a straight jacket literally um and when they take the gi off it's it's a different game yeah for them right so you got to train in both in my opinion yeah um agreed and uh and this video kind of proves a point again i'm only saying that from watching this video <laughs> that's right that's right so both them shintaro and travis man we'd love to hear your input and Love to interview both of you guys. So, if you guys see this, um, invitation's always there. Love to interview both of you guys. And um, thank you. Thank you for putting yourself out there and giving us great footage to kind of analyze and learn from. Man. So, guys, uh, follow Shintaro, follow Travis, and this is Jerry from Fight Commentary Breakdowns and Lupo from Choke a Bloke. Thank you.